Hello, my name is Wyndham Lucas and I'm going to be showing you different techniques and different methods of how to use tools for DIY. Today we're going to learn how to use a screwdriver. There are many different types of screwdrivers on the market, but today we're going to be using these screwdrivers. This is uh, what I call a posi drive screwdriver, but it can be referred to as a Phillips screwdriver. Um, so if someone says to you, oh, can I have a Phillips screwdriver, this would be the type of screwdriver that you would uh, use. The actual correct terminology is a posi drive screwdriver. This is a Phillips or could be referred to as a Phillips type screw. And in fact, it's actually a posi screw. Reason being, because you've got the positive crisscross on the face of the screw. Here we have a posi drive screwdriver, um, which is a medium size, medium size posi drive screwdriver. We have a smaller one here, and then again, we have a dumpy one um, for getting into places which are difficult, in other words, small spaces where we can't get our hands in, so they shorten the shaft of these to make it easier. So, dependent on the size of the screw is dependent on the screwdriver that we're going to use, and as you can see, that fits quite nicely, okay, where that is a bit too small, okay. Now, it is important that we use the correct size because what can happen is when we're actually screwing the screw into the wood or the wall or, or what we're going to be screwing uh, the screw into, uh, we need to make sure that it doesn't strip. And what can happen is if we don't use the right size head to the right size screw, what can happen is the screwdriver can spin within the screw. And what will happen is then that will strip. And if that strips, which means that the metal is um, uh, broken away from inside the screw, it means that we can't get a proper purchase on the screw to screw it in. So it is important that we do get the right size screwdriver for the right size screw. For today's demonstration purposes, we're going to use this type of screw, and we're going to choose uh, one of the posi drive screwdrivers to fit this particular type of screw. Now, here we've got a a dumpy screwdriver. I've got to say that's quite a good fit. But because we're actually not going to be screwing into a hard to reach place, we're going to be using more, I would say, this type of screwdriver. So let's try this one. Now that fits. Let's have a look at the intermediate one. No, definitely not. So this is the one that we're going to use. So I take my screw and I place it in the piece of wood, thumb and forefinger holding the screw. I take my screwdriver, place it in the top of the screw and turn gently at first. Take my screwdriver away and have a look to make sure that it's actually straight. That looks straight to me. Again, place the screwdriver on top of the head as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm using the palm of my hand, I place the screwdriver in the palm of my hand, which gives me good purchase or good bit of push on the screw as I'm screwing in. Can you see? Twist, twist, twist. Now, a nice little tip for you to make it easier to screw into the wood is what I use is a little bit of candle wax. What I do is I scrape the screw handle wax like that and then place the screw back into the hole. Again, screwdriver, top of the screw and look how much easier that goes in. That's a nice little tip for you. There we go. Perfect. Now, to, to remove a screw from this piece of wood, again, making sure we choose the right screwdriver for the right screw head. Very, very important. In this particular instance, we're gonna use this type of screwdriver because it's the right head for the face of this screw. Place the screwdriver over the top of the head, 
turn anti-clockwise, not clockwise, because clockwise to tighten the screw and anti-clockwise to undo the screw. Like so. It is important to make sure that we choose the right screwdriver for the right uh, screw head. If I was to remove this screw with this screwdriver, as you can see it's too small, I would have great difficulty and probably strip the screw. And by stripping the screw means I won't be able to remove the screw out of the piece of wood. So it is very important that we use the correct screwdriver for the correct uh, screw removal. There are two different types of screw. There's a flathead screw and a posi drive screw, also referred to as a Phillips screw. Okay. Uh, in this uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you how to screw a flathead screw um, using a flathead screwdriver. Choosing the right flathead screwdriver for uh, the right flathead screw is quite important, partly because these strip quite easily. And what I mean by strip is that when the screwdriver slips in the top of the screw, it can break away the, um, the metal within the in the screw, which makes it much more difficult to turn the screw into the piece of wood or whatever you're screwing the screw into. Um, so let's uh, choose the correct screwdriver um, for the right screw. Now we've got a dumpy one here. Okay, so that's a reasonably good fit, and that we'd use this type of uh, screwdriver to get into hard, hard places, places that you couldn't get your hand in or wasn't much room. Now for this demonstration, we don't need to use that, um, but we could use this type of screwdriver. Let's have a look. Okay, that's a fairly good fit on uh, that type of screw. Okay, so let's place the screw into the piece of wood. A nice little tip, certainly with using flathead screws, is a little bit of wax. Like so, place the screw into the hole. Choose the right screwdriver, flathead. And screw, keeping consistent Wait clockwise to tighten, anti-clockwise to undo. Like so. Now to unscrew this screw, again, if we uh, had quite a few of them to do, uh, it is still very important to make sure that we use the right screwdriver. So in this instance, I'm going to use this one and unscrew. like so. And that's how to use the different types of screwdriver for the different types of screw. I hope you found today helpful on the different techniques and methods of using certain tools for different DIY projects. If you'd like more information, please visit my website.